Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 <clears throat> Legendary Edition where we're maybe gonna do Omega today? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh my gosh, look at all these this is see how see how massive this list is? Like I have to scroll to see the whole thing. Most of them are just like fetch quest things, but it's all things like, especially when I was first playing, I was like, I have so much to do and I don't have enough time. And I kept wanting to do main mission stuff, right? Because I'm like, ooh, ran out. You know, I'm going to get Tally. Because you don't want to wait too long to get Tally. But like, at the same time, I'm like, there's another big main mission. And then if I did that, I'd get like a bazillion more. You know what I mean? It's just, it just adds up just adds up. Maybe I should look up and see when's a good time to do Ranak. I've looked up the good times for the DLCs, but... And I think, yes, Ranok is next. And then Thessia is after that, I think. Thessia's rough. Sorry, I think you probably keep hearing that. I, I wear my watch. Apparently, I wear it like a fighter pilot. I keep the glass facing down. It's, it's on the underside of my wrist, not the top. Um, so that's probably what you're hearing, hitting the glass desk that I, my setup is on. Whenever I put my hand on the keyboard anyway. That's why I don't use, I, right now my hand is kind of hanging off the desk. But when I play like Overwatch or something, I have to take the watch off. Because, it gets in the way. Anything else? Nope, we're good. Everybody good? I talked to everybody that I needed to. Good. We need to dock at dock 40. Personal park. Dang, that's the Citadel. Yeah, that's Citadel stuff. Nope, don't touch that. Don't touch that at all. Woo, Omega. DLC. Are you Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Aria. Follow me. So where is she? You know. Shepard. Classic espionage tactic. Arya. A dramatic. Meh. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. Fancy. I assume this is about retaking Omega. This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. Okay. Great. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. Well, thanks. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Yeah. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. Like you? <laughs> I mean, you're one to talk. But also, I guess if you say that Arya thinks that about him, then he's probably, like, a psychopath <laughs> or something. Uh, they made him, they tried very hard to make him look evil. They kind of gave his mouth a slight opening so that he's like, <laughs> like an evil smile. And they made it so his, his eyes are set deep into his brows and he's, like, looking up. Almost, like... To make it look like his eyes are even deeper set. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega Lock tight. The information stops there. So, you're winging it. <laughs> Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. He'll stop at nothing. Ah, oh, see, here you go. Sounds familiar. Shepard. I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine, 
again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. Nah. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. I'm adorable. Also, before I forget, I changed my armor to this new Cerberus one. will provide one. coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. Oh, you know me. Design. The is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. I was designed. Ari and I will meet you on the command For ship. espionage. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. How long have you been around, Kai? If you're one of the OGs, then you know. If you're not, then don't talk to me. Uh, but no, I changed my armor to a Cerberus one. Hang on, I actually do want to show you guys, because this is why I did it. It actually looks really cool. Um, not that I like using a Cerberus armor, but it looks pretty neat. I wanted to give it a try, but mostly for its perks. Ammo capacity, whatever, weapon damage, whatever, but power damage 10%, shield regen speed, and shields plus 25% is the big one. And apparently it's basically designed for people like me who have to lead the charge to break enemy formations, and it's designed to keep you standing and shooting as long as possible. So, uh, I don't know how long I'll be able to handle being a skinny mini. Um, it's not so obvious in this one, and this one's even better to make it not so skinny mini looking, but I kind of like the cut of this one, so we're going to give it a whirl, see how it goes. And I do like the shield stuff. Honestly, I also can't remember if I have done this DLC or not. I swear I have at least once. But I could not for sure tell you. I guess if I went and looked at my old playlists, I could maybe tell you, but I haven't done that. Let's go. <clears throat> kind of weird to leave people behind, but here we are. I do have... That's right, I was using the spike thrower, which <coughs> actually does throw spikes. Reaper carbine. Man, this thing is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Modify. There we go. Jeez, okay, I need to pick a lighter pistol. <coughs> what? Oh, yeah. Holy cow! <laughs> it's incredibly light. Look at that. Holy cow. Well, maybe this pistol is just really freaking heavy. Hang on, let's see. Yeah, okay, that pistol is just freakishly heavy. All right, well. <coughs> we were using, I'm so sorry. We were using, I was enjoying the scorpion and that wood, they do, they're the same kind of thing, but we're gonna try out this new one. Oh shoot, we can, we can give her stuff? Oh my goodness, see, I don't know if I've played this game. <laughs> Or play this version of the game? I don't know. Shotgun? Which one do you want? I think I could give her... Do we have the... This one wasn't a... Sorry, that was a Solarian design, I think, right? Oh, I'll give her this. I'll give her the thing here. I don't care about the mods. Holy moly. Maybe I haven't, because I do not remember getting to... Maybe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I just have a bad memory. Focus and expand all biotic energy, ooh. Biotic boss. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> Most of our are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through the- Oh, hey, she's from the Mass Effect 2. So, you commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then 
My forces join the fun. Also, I didn't think about this, pretend I did, but me wearing the Cerberus armor could maybe make this so since we're going against Cerberus could make them think twice about hitting me, being like, oh, is she an ally? But that also runs the risk of me getting shot by my actual allies. Anyway, I will be able to give Arya... <laughs> I'm still not used to um, using the mouse and keyboard to dole out points. I usually use the controller and I use the mouse and keyboard just for fights. But I've lately just been using the mouse and keyboard, so I'm still getting used to the buttons. Uh, but I'll be able to, I'll be able to go into the main menu and give her points in a minute. <laughs> but, yeah. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me. Stay. I am many things. Not the best start to our partnership. But I'm not a pilot. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Gray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Oh, I like the look. So shiny. Head for the command ship. It seems to be struggling a bit with the cutscenes, though. Cruiser, I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Lentz. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. Mm. That's right. Nice and slow. Be patient. As close as you can. He's like, I don't need two girl bosses. Fire. Gaslighting and gatekeeping. <laughs> Signal the fleet through the relay. We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Arya, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. Mm -hmm. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. <laughs> and Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. No! What? what? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. I mean, she's putting herself through it too, so, you know. You literally wouldn't have the power to cut through Solaris plating. Like, not even Shields Reapers gone. could. We can make it! Aria, don't be stupid. Sound the evac. Damn it. Program escape pods for the station. Let's go. Everyone out. There's no time. Yeah, got you too? Oh man. This is giving me flashbacks to uh, Mass Effect 2, Stark. 
This time I got on the escape pod. Guess that asshole really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. Ah. I think they're designed to do that. I guess they are designed to survive impact. What is even the point of armor and anything? Why don't we just run around in t-shirts? Hope the other escape pods made it. All right. What? What's our target? Why do I have an assault rifle? We need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. I don't I don't carry an assault rifle. I'm a shotgun, babe. This is what I brought you for. Ground assault. Alright. In combat. What you say goes. Oh. Aria relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, <laughs> Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can give uh, poor Aria her points. This is just, it just feels much slower than with the controller. Whoa, latch onto enemies with biotic blast to rip them off their feet. So it's just pull essentially, except it does damage. Rip a target to shreds. Oh, is this with her shotgun? Yeah, no, I was like with her biotics, dang. She probably could too with biotics. Okay, fully upgraded flare and lash because they seem really fun. I'm back. Ah! Squares! Dang. Mm. This was a small concern I had. That if it operates like the pistol... Hang on, there is a... Yeah. Then not... Close enough, it does that, but if it's. Ah, okay, okay. Hang on, I'm experimenting. Oh, hang on, let's see what Arya's stuff does. Oh my gosh, she just obliterated him. to lower the blast door. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh wait, dang it! I should've... That was dumb. Okay. Over here, Shepard. More! Thank you. Aria to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. Keep my army intact, Gerald. That is your only job. I think it's more of a navy in space, isn't it? Tell your oh, dang. How do you melee again? Oh, yeah. Let's 
try. Oh shoot, she's so little. Oh my gosh, we're really gonna take ages. Dang. Oh nice! The AoE was good. Good to know, good to know. I want to try out Arya's Lash, but her abilities take so long to reload. This is so interesting! Look at that! Look at that little space battle out there. Oh, I was like, what's the arrow for? But okay, gotta go up. Ground team, report in. Ray, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ship's delay. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out Okay, I'm sorry. I'm looking around. This is a part of Omega I've never been in. Not a combat engineer. No, nope, you get out immediately. Not oh, you at all. Oh, I did. Man, I suck. Wow, I suck so much. None of your shenanigans. Getting close. Those cannons have to be stopped. And I'm just keeping an eye out for things. Jeez, where are the people? This way. I do like the way this armor looks in the cutscene. Ah! The next area needs to be repressurized. Initiating. We don't have anything to get rid of shields, unfortunately. But we do. She can pull them. I upgraded as well. She can pull them. Jeez. Okay, I got this, Arya. My, I just stick my hand up there and then hack. The mini game goes on in my head really fast. Look at all these. I got the impact radius. It's pretty big on that ability that she has. I just punched a man to death. Hey! Just aim for their feet when it's an explosives thing, I guess. Charles, pew, pew, pew. Are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Hi. Approach trajectories plotted. We're already queuing up. 
Bray, come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar doors enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, uh. life support, munitions. You'll see. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. I almost missed it. I can't believe she just said all that out loud. Like, without se actually securing the comms and stuff, honestly. Like, I was thinking even before the video camera, was I was like, she's just telling me her plans in an unsecured location? There's a good chance the general knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. Break. Stay sharp. You might get visitors. Ah! <laughs> Take the far exit. I've locked down the way we came. Well, I don't know, I guess. I guess I should probably call it here, technically. It's a good spot for it, unfortunately. Uh, I know, not a ton happened in this one, but at least we started Omega, finally. This is very exciting. I honestly don't remember any of this. I feel like maybe what I thought was part of Omega is actually part of the Citadel DLC. So I don't think I've ever played Omega. Because I know that there's a, there's a character who shows up that I that I was pretty sure I'd never seen. I think maybe the place where I saw the Turian female AIs, or VIs rather, was probably some sort of gaming area in the Citadel DLC? I don't know. We'll see as we go. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to especially Reese Kalito, my second tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my three tier patron, who's the super bestest and has been just a super awesome, supportive person. And I really do appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me. And I just super appreciate it. Like, uh, the Patreon and comments and, and whatever else it is, like, you know, like, it's all just great and wonderful. So, thank you all so much again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.